Hi there guys, I'm John Simpson, Goldwell Artistic Master, and I'm here to give you my tip of the day. Whenever you're looking to number one, hair paint, it's about product control. But number two, whenever you really want to design a bob, how can I give shadow and details to the beautiful, precise line? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take just into the round of the head a diagonal curve section. Clean it first. It's not necessarily about putting color throughout the top lid. It's about putting movement throughout the interior to showcase the design of the cut work. Getting this out of my way. What I'm going to do is starting into the back, I'm going to diagonally build, taking a small section. Now into hair painting or dry brushing, again, product control key. As you reach for whichever pigment you choose, don't oversaturate the brush. Product control. I'm now going to take just the flat surface and I'm going to build diagonal back and moving getting closer and higher to the face as I move forward. Start within the middle. I'm going to distribute the pigment, vertically diffuse it so I have the soft length so I don't see exactly where it starts and stops. Now different than ombre, I don't need to saturate the top and the bottom. I'm using just the back of my hand, painting through, bringing it down. Next section. It's your design. That's the beauty of hair painting. It really is just live canvas. So you shadow all the line, the detail, the layer. You can reduce weight, add length, or create volume through your color painting. Here, diffusing again, working through just the top of the section. Again, the back of my hand to paint in through the middle. And then I'm going to gradually move forward. Here, I'm going to show you in the fast track of it, I've already done the other side. You can see that as I move into the front, it's actually coming up higher and showcasing the lines. If you want a second layering, it's easy. Some choose foil, some choose actual plastic wrap or a film, or even cotton. Layer, place it down in your adhesion, bring your next section, and build. So, hope you enjoy my tip of the day.